guys, it's Amy Samad. I live in College Hill with my husband, Jacob, and our two kids, Jack and Audrey. Jack's nine and Audrey is seven. So we have a third grader and a first grader doing distance learning right now, and I'm their new teacher. So um, in some ways, I feel as though our life has shifted a lot. Um, in some ways, I feel like it's exactly the same. Um, Jacob's still going to work every day, and um, I'm used to being home with the kids like in the middle of summer, um, doing arts and crafts and reading together and just um, making memories together. Um, I'm not used to doing it alone without um, being able to call a friend to walk at the park with or um, play with or having friends over. Um, looking forward to that. Um, it's just weird not having those things and I didn't realize how much I missed that community and how much our kids miss that community. Um, I would say one of the benefits of all of this is that um, we've had added family time. Um, we've all been home for dinner. We haven't had to rush out. Um, we haven't had to rush dinner um, so that people could rush out or eat really late because um, we're coming from here or there. So that's been a gift. It's been a gift to have those longer dinner conversations, play games together, um, and just that um, connection um, that's deepened for our family. I appreciate the friendships my kids are creating together. Um, they're forced friends, um, not having neighbors running over. It's, um, when they jump on the trampoline, they're the only ones on there. Um, and so while it feels sad, I do appreciate the unique situation we're in um, to deepen their friendship. They've even started sitting next to each other at the dining room table, so that's a big thing. Um, I would say one thing I've really appreciated is the way God has been using this time for us to be in the Word together. There are many days that our day just gets turned upside down, and there are tears, and there are um, hurtful words, there's frustration, um, and more tears and more hurtful words. And so one thing that's been really helpful is for us to stop take a breath and recenter our day in the word. So sometimes that's just pulling out the Bible and one of us reading some Psalms. And some days that's reading through the readings and prayers for that day that New City provides. And some days it's listening to the Marginalia podcast plug, um, which has been a blessing and maybe writing through the prompt or the question that's been given. Um, in that podcast, it's been a great way to communicate. So I appreciate that. I appreciate hearing God's words echoed in my kids' prayers at night um, and um, just love what they're learning and being able to um, learn that.